everyone. Um, so today I'm going to do the makeup habits tag. Um, I saw Sherry Ward do this on her channel. So I'm going to leave her down in the, her link. I'll leave her channel in the description below and I'm just going to get right into the questions. If I forget to tag anyone, cause I usually do forget to tag people in these videos, they'll be down below too. So go check out everybody that I tag and everybody that I mention in there. Um, because I think that this is a fun tag and I think that those are some great channels that you should check out um, if you haven't already. Question one, how often do you wear a full face of makeup? Uh, pretty much every day. <laughs> um, you know, I I don't do like, um, you know, I'll, if I'm doing my makeup, I'm going to wear like a full face of makeup. I don't always contour. I don't do my brows at all. Um, but pretty much if I wear makeup, I'm going to do a full face. I'm going to go with blush, highlight eyeshadow, everything. I just feel like it looks, I don't personally like how it looks if I don't do everything. I like having everything or nothing because I do like my bare face without makeup too, but pretty much every day I do a full face of makeup. Um, so yeah. Is your everyday look neutral or colorful? I usually go with neutrals. Um, I feel like you can never go wrong with neutrals. You know, you can do any lipstick that you want with a neutral look, any sort of, you know, blush or highlight or, you know, any outfit that you want to wear will look good with a neutral look. So I think neutral looks are definitely the way to go. How long does it take you to do your everyday look? Um, it usually doesn't take me all that long. I would say like at most it would be like 20 minutes or a half hour. Um, yeah, sometimes it can get up there. Like if I really want to like play with my makeup and like do a fun colorful look, like I tend to do those on the weekends when I have a little bit more time. And um, yeah, that'll, I'll just take my time with and I'll do it in an hour or something. But I usually like, 20 minutes is like the most it'll take me probably to do my makeup. Okay, so the next question is, do you apply foundation before or after eyeshadow? Um, I usually do foundation and face makeup. Sometimes I'll do like face makeup first and then I'll, sometimes I'll do eyeshadow and then I'll go back with my blush and my highlight after. Sometimes I'll do like all of my face makeup first and then I'll do my eyeshadow. It just kind of depends on what sort of mood I'm in and what I kind of grab for next because a lot of times I'll just like I'll just grab for stuff and if I grab for you know my eye primer I'll be like oh I guess I'm doing eye primer before I do my blush or my highlight. Um, that's kind of what I did today. I was like, oh, okay, I grabbed my eye primer, so I might as well do my eye makeup right now. So what are some bad makeup habits that you have to stop doing? Um, stop buying all the makeup? <laughs> I think that's probably, like, the biggest. Like, I should, I should probably limit what I buy, but, you know, I'm not gonna do that. Um, also, my brushes. I really need to get better at cleaning my brushes because I feel like it's embarrassing how little I clean my makeup brushes and I need to get better at taking care of my um my sponges my beauty blenders and my eco tool sponges and stuff I've gotten a little bit better with that but yeah I'm just I'm not good with the brush cleaning or the um storing sponges in general the next question is do you use beauty influencers techniques or do you use your own when you're doing makeup so I feel like this is like a tricky question for me to answer because I feel like like if I use my own techniques it's kind of things that I probably learned from YouTubers to begin with because I did watch a lot of beauty YouTubers before I even started doing makeup myself. So it probably like started out with something that I heard from somebody from Michelle Fawn probably because she was the big like makeup YouTuber at the time when I was just like getting into makeup and stuff and I didn't always do my makeup then but yeah so I feel like it go it goes back to Michelle Fawn I'm just gonna say that I probably do the techniques Michelle Fawn taught me and um I, I probably don't really think about it anymore it's not like I'm like watching YouTube to like you know, use their techniques. I don't do like baking or anything like that, but it probably like, because I probably learned more from the internet than just knowing it myself, it probably is from Michelle Fawn. So I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> okay, so what is the one step in your routine that takes the longest time to complete? Um, 
Probably the eyes. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not that good with blending. That's another makeup bad habit. I need to blend my eyes a little bit better. I don't think I take like too much time on any particular thing. But I think the eyes in general just kind of take up the most amount of time. Um, foundation, I can do that pretty quickly if I really had to. I don't know. Now I want to like time myself on all of these things and see what I do, the what takes me the longest and what takes me the shortest. So that would be an interesting like video if I was like timing myself and seeing how long everything takes. But I would say probably eyes. <laughs> Okay, what is the one step in your routine that you are okay with skipping? And then the le the one attached to that is what um, what step can't you skip? I, I feel like they're all like kind of fundamental. Um, I I don't think I would want to skip. I don't know. I feel like if I'm like getting up and doing my makeup, I would want to have like face makeup on. But then again, I feel like my face usually looks like okay, but. I don't think, I don't think I'd want to skip face makeup if I wanted to put like blush and highlight on because I don't think that like my blush and highlight would stick without like face makeup. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll say foundation for that. And then what's, for what step can't I skip? <laughs> and then for what step would I be okay with skipping? Um, I don't know. Um, I don't do my brows, so I'm just gonna say my brows, but that's not like part of my routine. So I feel like it should be part of your routine that you would be okay with skipping. Um, I'm gonna say mascara because I think that when I put my mascara on, even though like my shirt says mascara and coffee, um, I just thought this was really cute. Um, when I put my mascara on, like sometimes I'll feel like throughout the day my eyes will get bothered more than like if I didn't have mascara on. So I'm gonna say I, if in my personal routine, I would skip mascara if I could skip one thing, but I usually don't skip that. So yeah. What types of looks are out of your comfort zone? I would say I don't do a lot of like cooler smoky looks. Um, I don't know why. I just, I don't, I don't use a lot of like gray shadows a lot. So I should try doing that. I don't think it necessarily looks bad on me. It's just that, like, if I was going to use, like, a silver or a gold shadow, I would rather use a gold shadow, and I would rather have a more neutral look than, like, a smoky look, but, um, yeah. Okay, so do you wear matte liquid lipsticks, um, cream lipsticks, lip gloss, traditional lipstick, or a mixture? Um, I like all kinds of things. I think my favorite thing is probably just, like, a traditional lipstick, um, but those don't last the longest on me. So I do kind of prefer, I do like to use uh, liquid lipsticks as well because those last longer, but I think like a traditional like lipstick is definitely the most comfy, um, the easiest to use. And I just, I think that that's my favorite. Um, but yeah, I do like glosses a lot too. And I like, you know, I like everything, but I would, if I had to pick, I, like if liquid lipsticks weren't a thing and there were just like traditional lipsticks, I would be okay with that. <laughs> if you could only wear one shade of lipstick for the rest of your life, what would it be? It would be something like this, um, MAC Whirl. I know that this is different and it doesn't necessarily go with every look, but I just, I think it looks so cool and it's like a nice dark neutral and I just, I like how it looks on me. I think it looks kind of grungy and cool and, um, yeah, it reminds me of like the old Shannon from like high school who liked emo music and like also like the fashion savvy like trendy Shannon who likes makeup so I think that this like encapsulates my personality perfectly so I would choose this type of a color. By the way I don't know if I said what I have on right now. Right now I have on MAC Whirl and you can't really see but you can see. <laughs> you know what it looks like by now. I'm not the first person to wear this. Do you highlight and contour your face? I always highlight. I don't always contour. Um, highlighting is just kind of like my favorite step of my makeup routine because like I just I don't know I feel so confident putting it on and I just I get like I like how it looks I like how this looks today um by the way I mentioned this in my vlog that should be coming out on Saturday or on Sunday but um the um the highlight I have on right now is the elf holographic highlight in blue lagoon 
And I mentioned, I think a while ago, that it was not that holographic. And I had the the lighter bluish side on then. And now I have the more purpley side on and it is quite holographic. So I retract what I said then. And I will say now that it is pretty holographic and I was pretty impressed with the purple side. Um, so that's the thing. But yeah, I do. I love to highlight. That's my favorite part. And contouring's fun too, but I don't do that all the time. Okay, so 13. What is one step in your makeup routine that makes you feel complete? Um, I, oh gosh, this is harder than I thought it would be. I think, um, I don't know. Like when I did my Avon look a little while ago, or in Monday's video, um, I like noticed my face and then I'm like, something's different. And then I realized that I didn't have lipstick on. So I put lipstick on in that video and I think the lipstick made me feel like it was more complete. So I'm going to say lipstick for that. Um, yeah, I just think that that kind of like completes my makeup. And I also really love putting setting spray on like the last, sometimes I do mascara after setting spray, but usually I'll do setting spray and then I'll go back in with mascara and then it'll smudge and then I'll, I'll feel more complete, like, you know, just if I just put setting spray on. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, so lipstick and setting spray, those make me feel complete and um, yeah, and highlight makes me feel confident. So that is everything for this tag and um, I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys all on Friday. Bye. <laughs>